Hi, and welcome to Kids Church Online. My name is Robin, and I'm so glad that you've joined us today. We've been learning in the Bible from the New Testament, from the book of John. And today, we're going to be learning a bit more from John chapter 10. Now, I was wondering, have you ever seen a sheep before? Maybe you've been out on holidays and seen a whole flock of sheep in the countryside in a paddock. Or perhaps you've fed a sheep uh, a little lamb with a milk bottle before. Sometimes they have sheep in their shopping centres or at your playgroup or school. And you might have been able to pat a little sheep in a kindy farm before. Well, let me tell you something about sheep. They can be pretty silly creatures sometimes. Sometimes they just wander off and get lost and they can't find their way back to the flock. Sometimes they get their hoofs stuck in a fence and other times they just fall into a ditch and they can't get out by themselves. They need someone to help them. Sheep really do need someone to look after them and take care of them. Someone who looks after sheep is called the shepherd. A good shepherd loves his sheep and he takes care of their needs. A good shepherd knows the sheep by their name and the sheep will follow him. A good shepherd looks out for lovely green grass and water for the sheep to eat and he will protect them from harm and danger. Now a hired hand is someone who's paid to look after the sheep when the shepherd is away. Now the hired hand doesn't really love the sheep in the same way that the good shepherd does. A hired hand doesn't take care of them in the same way and doesn't know the sheep by their name. And if danger is coming, the hired hand will just run away and leave the sheep to fend for themselves on their own. Now, if you were a sheep, I wonder who you would want looking after you. I know who I would want. In John chapter 10, Jesus talks about himself as being the good shepherd and he talks about us as being his sheep. We need to be taken care of and we need to be rescued. Jesus said he knows his sheep and that his sheep know him. They know his voice and they follow him. Jesus also said that he would lay his life down for his sheep. Now what Jesus was talking about then was about giving up his life for us to rescue us from our sin. Jesus was saying that he would go to the cross and die for us so that we could be free from our sin and enjoy life forever with him in heaven. So the next time you see a sheep, I want you to try and remember that you are like a sheep. You need someone to take care of you and to rescue you. And you have a good shepherd in Jesus who loves you, who knows you by your name, and who has laid down his life to rescue you. Thanks for listening and see you another time soon. Bye.